Good day everyone. So this will be the second part of our video lesson on composition of functions. So as we recall, the representation for composition of functions is represented by uh, f composite g of x is equal to f of g of x. So again, si letter f yung ating outer function, then si letter g yung ating g of x yung ating inner function. So, ang ipapalit natin kay x is the value of g. Okay, so let's go back with example number 1. So, ito yung example number 1 natin sa video lesson part 1. So, given the functions f of x is equal to x squared and g of x is equal to x minus 2. So, find f composite g of x. So, let's have our representation. So, that will be f composite g of x is equal to f of g of x. So, unang gagawin, tatanggalin natin yung g of x, papalitan natin ang value niya. So, ang value ng g of x is x minus 2. So, nanggaling doon sa x minus 2. Kasi siya yung nasa loob, siya yung ating inner function. And then, so we'll have now our f of x, and our f of x is x squared. So, nanggaling naman dito, x squared. So, that is the value of f of x. And then, we will remove x, and it will be replaced by x minus 2. So, tatanggalin natin yung x, papalitan natin ng x minus 2, pero hindi magagalaw ang exponent na 2. So, that will be x minus 2, quantity raised to the second power. And then, so, x minus 2, quantity raised to the second power is equal to x minus 2 times x minus 2. So, we will apply our FOIL method here. And the final answer will be x squared minus 4x plus 4. So, that is example number 1. Ito rin yung example number 1 sa part 1 ng ating video lesson. Okay, so, same given, example number 2, but the difference is that uh, f composite of g of negative 4. So, instead of letter x, so we have a value for x and that is negative 4. So, the initial procedure will be the same. We will have the representation. So, f composite g of x is equal to f of g of x. And then, tanggalin ng g of x, palitan ng x minus 2. And then, ilagay natin ang value ng ating f of x, and that is x squared. Tanggalin ng letter x, palitan natin ng x minus 2. So, that will be x minus 2 to the second power, quantity raised to the second power. And then, evaluate natin. So, that will be x minus 2 times x minus 2, and that will be x squared minus 4x plus 4 using the FOIL method. So, pag nandito na ngayon tayo, Ang gagawin ngayon natin, tatanggalin natin lahat ng letter x. Isa, dalawa. Ipapalit natin ang negative 4. Kasi meron tayong value for x which is negative 4. So, yun yung karugtong ng ating lesson. So, remove letter x and then replace it with negative 4. So, negative 4 raised to the second power minus 4 times negative 4. Then we will copy plus 4. And then evaluate. Negative 4 to the second power, that is negative 4 times negative 4 and that is 16. Negative 4 times negative 4, that is positive 16, and then plus 4. So that will be 16 plus 16 plus 4. So simple addition, we have 32 plus 4, we have 36. So the answer is 36. And then example number 3, so we have given the functions a of x is equal to x plus 2, and v of x is equal to 2x plus 1, so find a composite b of 2. So initially, we will have first our composition of functions wherein b of x is our inner function and then our letter a is our outer function. So replace b of x with 2x plus 1. And then, let's have our a of x and that is x plus 2. Remove x and replace it with 2x plus 1. So that will be 2x plus 1, quantity plus 2. Evaluate, so that will be 1 plus 2, so that is 2x plus 3. Then ngayon, Puno tayo sa value ng x natin, which is 2. So, tanggalin si letter x, palitan natin ng 2. So, that will be 2 times 2 plus 3. Then, simply, so, multiply and then add 3. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3. So, that will be 7. So, a composite b of 2 is equal to 7 in our given functions. Example number 4. 
So we have here, given the functions f of x is equal to x squared, can g of x is equal to x minus 2, so find g composite f. So in this case, balik tayo yung g and f, g and f natin. So si letter g yung outer function, si letter f naman yung inner function. And then later on, the value of x is equal to 5. So g outer function, f inner function. So remove f of x and replace it with x squared. So doon ang galing yun sa value ng f of x, so x squared. Then let's have our g of x and that will be x minus 2. So dito naman siya nang galing sa x minus 2. Tanggalin yung letter x, papalitan natin ng x squared. So that will be x squared minus 2. And then that's it, the first part of the solution. Second part of the solution, remove x and replace it with 5. So that will be 5 squared minus 2. Then evaluate the exponent, so 5 squared is 25 minus 2, so we have here 23. So G composite F of X is equal to 23. And then example number 5, so same example tayo, same two functions ang given. So we have F of X is equal to X squared and G of X is equal to X minus 2. But in this case, now we will find for G composite G of negative 8. So, the inner function is g, the outer function is also g, and the value of x is negative 8. So, same thing here. So, we will represent our function by g composite g of x is equal to g of g of x. So, ang inner function natin ay g of x, ang outer function natin ay g. Therefore, in this example, hindi mo na magagamit yung ating f of x. So, remove g of x and replace it with x minus 2. So, dito nang galing yung x minus 2. Then, sunod. So, let's have now our g of x originally. So, that is x minus 2. Siya pa rin yun. Tanggalin si letter x. Palitan natin ng x minus 2. So, that will be x minus 2 minus 2. So, x minus 2 quantity minus 2. Then, evaluate negative 2 minus 2. That is negative 4. Okay. So, first part. Done with the first part. So, yung first part natin, pinaliwanag natin sa part 1 ng ating video lesson on the introduction of composition of functions. Pwede nyong i-review yun. Ibalagay na lang natin yung link sa ibaba. And then, remove x and replace it with negative 8. So, tanggalin yung x, palitan ng negative 8. So, that will be negative 8 minus 4. Then, simply, subtract the integers. So, subtraction of integers to. So, negative 8 minus 4, that is negative 12. G, composite G of x is equal to negative 12. Okay, so that's it for our composition of functions, part 2 of our lesson on composition of functions. So, now we will have our practice problem. So, given the functions, a of x is equal to x plus 2 and b of x is equal to x plus 1. So, find b composite a of negative 2. So, this question will be assigned for you to answer. So, write your answer down in our comment box. And... That will be all for this video lesson, so have a nice day.